Scorpios. We're here for your weekly forecast for the week of February 10th through the 16th. Oh, that was fast. What does Scorpio need to know about this week? Okay, so we have the devil in reverse. <laughs> Princess of Wands. Scorpio, what's going on? Okay, what does Scorpio need to know about the week of February 10th through the 16th? Ten of Cups, Seven of Pence, Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, so, all right, let me kind of get organized here. To me, the Nine of Wands is standing out as yourself, okay? And obviously the reverse double, because it's a major arcana, is a major influence over you this week, Scorpio. Um, and we do have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups in reverse, so we've got some, some you know, water here. Seven of Pentacles maybe as like kind of the issue. We'll put that over here with the devil. So the devil typically represents sex, drugs, addiction, addiction to a lot of things. It doesn't just mean drugs. It can mean addiction to certain emotions, addicted to being the victim, addicted to sex. So it could be pornography. It could be drugs. Trapped, feeling chained to something, allowing yourself to be controlled by something. Okay. Um... What's our other reverse card here? Our other reverse card we have is the Nine of Cups. Okay, so some, typically Nine of Cups is a very um, happy card, a lot of good things, a celebratory. Um, nines are like getting towards the end of a cycle. So those are our reversed cards. The Seven of Pentacles is, you know, some kind of The energy of planting something, trying to grow something, trying to bring something into this physical world. What are you trying to build? What are you trying to manifest, Scorpio? Okay. Um, whatever that is, that's good. Okay. This is upright. It's, it feels positive. Um, the energy here is really good. Um, also, Ten of Cups. You've got a supportive team around you. You've got a good family or for a group of friends or a group, you know, whatever it is that is here, which we're, let's pull some Oracle and see if we can get some clarity. But here you are kind of in the middle princess of wands, which is a, is a great card. She's a powerful woman. You know, wands is the fire card. So she's a creator again, a manifester. Um, what are you manifesting and why is this, you know, devil and reversed here and nine of cups reversed here? Who and what is this that's trying to hold you back Scorpio? So let's, Pull your oracle and um, see what's going on. <clears throat> what does Scorpio need to know about this devil card? Hold on. I thought I had it flip around. There it is. Okay. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So life is a whole journey. It's not just, you know, one season. So it's wanting to take a break. I don't know if this is the right deck that's going to give us the clarity that we need for the this energy, but let's see what else we got here. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do?
I'm going to grab my go-to deck, which is the Psychic Tarot, so that we can get a little bit more clarity on this. So let's kind of put you here. And you've got your support system, your manifesting, but what is this Devil and Nine of Cups reversed all about? Okay, so I'm asking for a card. What does this devil represent for Scorpio? Triumph and success reversed. So it's the opposite of that. Somebody trying to stop you from your success. Maybe it's as simple as this person that's the Nine of Cups is trying to stop you from your manifesting. But let's just see. What do we need to know about these two reversed cards of the devil and the Nine of Cups? What do we need to know? Stand your ground. This is not a time to relinquish your power, which that also goes along with the devil card. Um, the devil wants you to give over your power to these things, to these drugs, to this alcohol, to this power, you know, giving your power over to the devil. And this is, an, this is a sign saying for you absolutely to not do that. Stand your ground. Okay. Let's see here. In the Starman Tarot, they give a lot of really good reversal readings. So let's just go ahead and look up what theirs is that might be a little bit different than what I'm used to understanding on the devil. Okay, here we go. So the devil reversed. Engaging in deceitful, hurtful, and manipulative behavior, bringing misery and pain to others, finding satisfaction in people's misfortune, acting out of spite or resentment, sabotaging the good fortune of others for personal gain and gratification. So that's not good, <laughs> right? Which we, you know, we already knew that. It's time for you to stand your ground. They're definitely trying to interfere with your success. Um... So, I mean, all that really can leave us with is that this is the person who's trying to do that. Nine of Cups is a water sign, so it's going to be a fellow scorpion, a Pisces, or a... Um, you guys, all day today, can't think of the third water sign. Okay, so... Why? <laughs> Cancer! Holy shit. Cancer. I don't know why that's been eluding me all day. Um, it feels like it's likely a woman. I mean, not just because there's a woman here, but uh, there's a lot of female energy in here. Also, most of the people that watch my videos are women. Um, and so definitely, you know, before I start my readings, I always call upon the guides of the people who will be watching this video because I want it to be relevant to you who are watching it. So it's most likely a woman. Um, and if you go and watch Leo's reading... There's been a lot of female on female drama, you know, and it was like, I'll kind of just reiterate what I said to the Leos is that even though we're here at the, the age of Aquarius and we're supposed to be pushing out the patriarchy and welcoming in the matriarch, how can we do that as if as women we're tearing each other down instead of building each other up, you know, so you're both pretty powerful. You know, Nine of Cups, whoever this water sign is, isn't quite. You're because you're a princess of wands here, right? So even though they feel like they might have some kind of power over you, you know, they definitely don't. Um, take a stand back. This has also been a running theme through a lot of the signs this week. It's time to take a break just to remove yourself from the situation because it's hard to make a decision when you're too um, wrapped up in the emotions of it. Um, especially where this is, you know, a lot of water. We have your Scorpio as a water sign. This is likely a water sign. We've got the Ten of Cups. And so don't relinquish your power, Scorpio. Definitely stand your ground. Don't be afraid to be strong, but you don't have to treat them with the same kind of, you know, backstabby shit that they're offering. Um, since this was reversed, I also want to look this up too. So let's look up the nine of cups reversed. I, I'm loving this deck, you guys. I've had it for a while and I just haven't really... 
given an opportunity, but I'm one that loves reverse meanings. I know some people don't. I love a reverse card because I think it just goes really deep. So let's see here. Reverse Nine of Cups. The reverse of this card can manifest as arrogance and a lack of empathy for others, especially those who are struggling in life. Tens tendencies to overindulge, becoming addicted to hedonistic pleasures. Interesting that this was the card that came up with the devil because that's exactly what this energy is. So also this could be representing somebody in your life who is exhibiting these behaviors. Do you know somebody who's an addict? Do you know somebody who's self-serving? Okay, then that's probably who it is. Um, back to it, tendencies to overindulge, becoming addicted to hedonistic pleasures while everything else falls apart around us and aversion to challenges just want to roll with the good times. So, um, definitely for a lot of you Scorpios, this is someone else, but I do feel strongly now that for at least one of you watching this reading, this is actually yourself. You have turned, this is who you're supposed to be. And you've turned into this. You've been overindulging. You've been hedonistic, which means self-serving for pleasure, you know. And on one hand, we were meant to come here to experience our bodies, to experience that pleasure. But it's easy to get caught up in it and have that become your only priority. And Nine of Cups definitely feels that way. Very indulgent, right? Very, like I said, celebratory, but we had it in reverse, which means overindulgence in these things. We've been overindulging. So for for one of you, and if you feel like this is you, as soon as I said that, if you know, this is your message. This is your warning. This is, this. it's time to get this under control. You can't live like this forever. It's obviously not good for your health physically, but it's not good for your health spiritually, okay? Stand your ground. Perhaps you're around a group of people who... They only know you as this party girl and it would be hard for you to remove yourself from that. But stand your ground. Don't be bullied because really this addiction and this hedonistic lifestyle is keeping you from your success. And for those of you who it's someone else, stand your ground up against this person. Okay, so that's your message for the week, Scorpio. Good luck and enjoy your week.